We're a couple of weeks already into the NCAA, and whereas last week we talked about early MVP candidates, we want to extend the conversation a bit. Who are the people in the NCAA who have impressed you so far? So first we have Nate to give credit. Matute for three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nate oh, Matute wow. is shooting 65.22% from three point land, wow. and he's averaging yes. I think 25, 25 points, points per game. In that game was it 30, 40? Ilang points yung skinor niya? 30. 30. For a game for that 29 or so he's basically setting new career highs every time he plays. So by the time the season's over, about 14. And may hirap yung mga tira niya na I mean, mm. alam na nilang shooter siya and shot. all. So they're really guarding him. Pero he still finds ways na makakatira siya and mashoot niya. Okay. Uh, let's talk about a team that I think was surprised a lot of people. Perpetual Health, which mm. used to be the doormat team. They now they're now amazingly 2-1 and they are higher in the standings than this Sanchez, year's host, yes. the Letran Knights. So they've been impressive. They've added two uh, foreign players, uh, Femi Babayemi. I hope I pronounced that right. Because <laughs> we'll get her. And Nick Omarogbe. Mm. Uh, their presence has transformed the team, making them a better rebounding team. Uh, they get to the line more and they're first in the league in blocks. So from a team that whose tallest player last season was 6'3". They now average six blocks a game, so hats off to them. I think you also have to give credit to CSB. Mm. for uh, Even if they lost that overtime game against San Sebastian, 95-93, to you have a team full of guards that scored 93 points. Diba? Wala kang big man na asahan. Lahat ng tira mo galing sa labas o sa drive. Still take it to 93. Kahit natalo ka, that close and that many points, parang wow, ang dami, dami ng step up power. sa kanila, si Joel and mm. all the other guys. So. I don't think it was an overtime game though, but you're right. It was impressive, the fact that you know, the person we thought would carry the team, uh, Roberto Bartolo, the center from San Sebastian, his old team, you, know, you, you mm. think that Gonna, he'd be, wow, yeah. I want to <laughs> kick these guys' butts. But that didn't happen and still they got within two points. So that's impressive. Uh, let's go to Baste. Baste, of course. We already Calvin talked Abueva. about Calvin Abueba, Ian Sangalang. But Calvin Abueba, he is t- number one in almost all the all the stats. Diba? All the stats. Mama number out. one in rebound, 18.3. Um, num- what, 18.7 he, points tall? per oh. game. And he has, he has his assist, 7.7, number one. So, when I'm in, although so number one didn't just have turnover. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, you'll get that. With the minutes that he's playing, you will... Get a lot of turnovers, but you know. I'm surprised the assists. Yeah, I mean, Uh-oh. he plays forward or you center, pero mm-hmm. and dami ng assists maybe because the whole time na saan yung bola or na <laughs> <laughs> so, at least he's passing it, diba? uh, Let's give a tip of the hat to our co-host last week, Gabbana, mm-hmm. who was telling us about uh, a rookie for Mapua, Andrew Estrella, uh, 15.5 points per game and two outings, shooting 63% from the field. So. Uh, Gab, if you're not allowed to play, uh, yeah, this not guy. So much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, see, si Jason Nimesren. Uh, yeah, he's he playing. Well. Stepped up in this last game after a quiet season opener. Gab, okay lang yan. <laughs> if Gab gets to playing soon, de ba? We can also include him yeah. in this conversation because you know he's a, he's a big guy, but he can also shoot from outside. He can also handle the ball. He can drive. He can do it all, there, eh? Diba? And so, he knows how he's a oh. very well balanced player. He knows how to pass the ball. So if not, we can invite him back here. No. You're always <laughs> welcome. Out, you, you can always join us. You don't want to We'll create room here for you. But <laughs> how we can't forget uh, the ace, Kevin Alas. Uh, mm-hmm. He's playing well, but. Mm-hmm. 22.7 points a game. Mm-hmm. But the good. problem is his three-point shooting has been horrible. Uh-uh. Uh, I think whatever he had, na punta kay Nate Matute. So <laughs> well, pero that's his role talaga. I mean, he needs to shoot the oh. ball a lot. Mm-hmm. Para lang may mga yari sa offense nila. And kung hindi siya titiro, hindi nang obibigay. Yun lang naman ang tanong. Eh. And the fact that he ha- he also defends at the same time. Like he shoots a lot, but at least he defends, de ba? He's number one in steals with 2.3 a game. So at least. That's pretty good. And so, so we still yeah. want to give San Pedro the trophy already, but at least this will no, these guys yes. will make the mm. race for third to fourth. Maybe a lot more, <laughs> third to fourth. A lot more interesting. They are busted. 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 Okay. Unlike our other awards, you know, it's more difficult. Champion busted. 
Pinsan na naman si... Okay. If hindi, lalapdance ko si Abueva. <laughs> so we are, we'll invite him I here. Think, oh. Second time mo na, right. second time na nga ito. You, you really like the idea Abueva. of... Abueva. 